Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to unbox the X88 Pro Smart Box. As you can see right here in the package we have some information graphite and the package with silver color as you can see right here. Let's go ahead open up without losing any time and see what we got and immediately it will show the X88 Pro Smart Box. You can see right here we have this two color theme and the X88. In the back we have some information. Underneath this package we have the power brick, HDMI cable, the controller, also the user manual. As you can see all of these are wrapped up with plastic for protection and it, we will be showing you all of these while we are using them. As you can see the controller is very easy to use because it doesn't have too much buttons we have the hdmi cable as i mentioned before with wrapped up the plastic also plastic in the tops of the cable for more protection in the end we have the user manual as always we have here all the instructions how to connect it also how the, to change languages and other stuff plus the instruction about the controller how the buttons will work so this instructions or the user manual works pretty good in much of the times as you can see we are back at the x88 pro smart box we have all the ports in the back in the hdmi the power brick in the bottom we have 4 gigs of ram and 32 ram we have two usb and one sd card port and and that this will complete the smart box so let's go ahead connect it see how it will work as you can see it's already started we started in the first page as you can see we have videos music apps youtube play store in the bottom we have all the apps that we selected as you can see right here you can select the videos the app for videos as you can see we select the youtube and media videos we can select more like netflix and the apps that are actually for videos we have the music apps right here so you can select all the categories of the apps in the settings as you can see per usual we have the usual options here in media center we have the images music files and other stuff here you can clear the store we have youtube right here it takes a little bit to go to the youtube i don't know why usually all our smart boxes opens the youtube immediately but maybe the wi-fi has trouble so i'm not blaming the x88 immediately without testing more this device you can see the play store works pretty good it opens up immediately you have to open your accounts and it will work without any problem you can see here we have all the apps that are installed in the x88 pro some of them are installed by default and some of them are that we installed you can see right here we have network and internet we have the Wi-Fi here as you can see we have all other options for information we have apps we can control apps from here if you want to uninstall any app you can do it from here we have device information and other stuff we have device performance also we have the settings in general as you can see right here software and internet we saw that we have app notifications as we saw before the apps but here we have notification as well
So we are going to show you some of the options that we have here. In general, you have sound as you saw, we have display. In display, as, I, as we say always, we, you have different options. Starting from font size, we have display positioning that you can customize for your own display, for your own TV or screen, whatever you're using. We have the screen saver that you can turn on and off. We have other options, so you have to go there and see for yourself how this is all being done. Next, we have the theme of the display. We have storage. Here you can see all the storage that you have been using and the storage that you can use in the near future. Next, we have the security and location. This is an option here in the x88. We have different options here in the security and location, so you have to go there and see the options for location and the security, both of them. We have memory use right here. As I said, you can see how many megabytes you used. We have accounts. Here you can add your Google account or another account. In general, we have accessibilities. And here in this port, we have plenty of options. They are customizable. You have here Google settings and backups for Google, etc. These are all just Google options. We have here system. As you can see, here you can find all the details about the system, updates, and other things. We have language and input. You can change the language right here in case you need so. Next, we have gestures. We have backups, as I said. Reset options. This will be a whole different uh, video. And in the end, we have here updates. Here we will find an update in case we got one. Let's get back to the account device. Here you have your owner name and all other options as we do in a normal Android. Let's get back to the menu as we saw the display option and colors and other things we saw before in the settings. We can zoom in, zoom out, shrink or go left and right with our screen positioning. We have colors. We have here other things to customize. So whatever you like, you can choose right here in this section. We saw the advanced set selling. You can see right here the settings. And now we are back at the menu again. As let's go to the Ada64. This app is what we use always to show you all the information about this smart box. We have here the system, the CPU, battery, and other stuff. As you can see, we have the information about the CPU right here. Next, we have display and battery and so on and so on. You can see the network, display, and so this app works pretty good for information if you want to inform yourself or other about your device. Here is this app, it's wonderful, it works perfectly and we use in all our smart boxes. So you have your temperature here and you have other things. We have not any reason to go in details. We are back at the menu, as you can see there are plenty of apps. We have this root check app as well. This is the same as the Ada64 but has less options. But again, it works perfectly in case you want to see only the main uh, information. You can go with the root check app. Back at the menu again. Let's go ahead. Try the Antutu app. See how it will work. As you can see, we already run a test. We have the result right here. You can see the CPU, the graphics and other things that the Antutu app works or tests.
we have all the numbers, all the information right here in the Antutu app. So we have a few testers here in the Antutu app. These are the color screen testers. That's uh, the color of the screen. So these are not necessary, but we are just trying them for the sake of the video. Let's see how they goes. As you can see, they change color and whatnot. Next, we have the Google Chrome, as we always use. So as you can see, we have to sign up with our account here in the Google Chrome. It opens up immediately. It works pretty good, so it's very useful sometimes. So that's pretty much it for the Google Chrome. Let's get back at the menu. As you can see, we have here the cleaner to clean the caches and whatnot. We have here file browser in case you want to open files and other things. We have other apps here that we downloaded and some of them were downloaded from the factory. And this is an app for movies and TV channels. So in case you want to see news and other stuff, you can go here. As you can see the BBC News are working pretty good. Sometimes it's lagging. I'm not sure if it's the app or the net network or the Wi-Fi. So as you can see we have the HD button is he here as well. So honestly it's not so bad. You can see it works pretty good. You can expand the video. It worked really good. We have the gallery for photos, Google, LiveNet TV. This is another app that we always use for channels like this. We have different channels starting from news, sports, kids, and TV shows, movies, what, what not. Also, in this app, we have uh, channels in categories with language. For example, French, German, Portuguese, and English and on other languages as well you can see right here so everything works perfectly you can see the news in German are working all these apps are working pretty good I don't think I have any complaints until now with this more box and these apps so far so good as I always say. We have the third app for the same purpose, cha channels with sports, news, movies and music, kids, channels, etc, etc. You can see right here, Animal Planet. We have here one channel for animals, let's see how it goes. It's taking a little bit, I'm not sure why, but as you saw it lagged a little bit or it didn't open, I don't know, maybe it could be the channel faults or maybe the Wi-Fi, but maybe the box was not working so good, but I'm not sure. I don't think the box has any fault, it worked in previous apps so I don't think it had problem just with this app. You can see the action movies or different movies here, let's test it. It's still loading even though sometimes it opens much faster and now as you can see it opens, let's wait, it stored the movie and now it's going really good it lagged in the beginning as you saw but now it's going very smooth back at the menu of the app 
and now at the menu of the box so we saw the apps that are for movies but you can download apps that you use we use these three apps also the YouTube we test always the YouTube with 4k videos let's go ahead press this first one video 4k 60 FPS let's test it as you can see it started immediately it's going smoothly it doesn't lag and very good very good quality ultra HD 4k so with this one we can say that the x88 pro works pretty good so guys this was all that we can test today in the x88 pro thank you very much for your time and support hit the like button subscribe our channel and we will see you in the next video with another smart box